what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Jaden Cleves is sending her condolences after three men were murdered at a strip club she was hosting on Sunday in Dallas. The club is called Aces of Dallas. The dead men are Darry Nellums, 26, Demarion Glasgow, 27, and Tavion Rice, 29 years old, dead. People online were blaming Jada for the murders, but she was hosting. She's not to blame for the murders. Even so, the pressure forced her to delete her Twitter. They were going in on her. Three people were killed just a week ago in Houston, three rappers at a club. Still don't know what the motive was in Houston and they haven't produced a motive in Dallas. But I can tell you this fam, it was behind nothing. I can almost guarantee, you know why I can? Because that's how about 99% of these type of things go. People go out and they know what they're gonna do but they don't know what the next person is going to do. You can only speculate in this type of situation because they haven't released the motive. But like I say, people go out and they have on their mind all kinds of things. Sometimes you have on your mind what you're going to do to somebody. And you know, if somebody get out of line, you know, you with your boys or whatever. Or maybe you're by yourself. You're rolling solo dolo. You don't, just don't give a damn. And somebody get out of, out of pocket, you go off. Some of these dudes, fam, it's, a, it's important to understand this. Some people don't really value their lives, right? Some people just don't have that in them right now. It's not, not to say that they, they, they want to die, but they don't necessarily take the precautions to avoid being murdered. They engage in reckless behavior. They go to places where drama is a cycle. You know, where people just, anytime you go there, there's always some drama. The security or security guards are aggressive. When you pay your money to go in, they never say thank you. You know, little things like that make a difference when you walk into a club. You, you might even have a little attitude, a chip on your shoulder when you walk in, when you go somewhere. But sometimes, you, you ever notice how sometimes you can be in a good mood and then you go to a place and the first person that you encounter, if I'm talking about if you're out, if you're hanging out, say a nightclub, a bar, whatever, and the bouncers, the security guys, they got an attitude. So now you got an attitude. You walk in, you pay your money. The person that's accepting your money, they don't say thank you or nothing. They just get your money and then just gone. They just treat you like a number. So now you in there, you need a damn drink bad. Because these fools has been tripping. I don't go places where I feel like my money is not respected. I don't go places where I feel like I'm not respected. If I'm just a vibe type person. Now, I did that in the past. I had the mentality like anybody brought it. I know what's there. I know it's drama. I'm not going to mess with anybody. But if somebody mess with me, I'm going to give them everything they ever thought that they could want. Anything they thought they could want and then some. I'm going to give it to them. So I went into these places with that type of mentality. And as I got old, I just realized, you know, I can avoid 
most of this stuff by just knowing in advance that that place over there, full of drama. And somebody get killed there every weekend. I ain't going there. Every time you go there, it's three, four fights break out. Oh, I ain't going there. Uh -uh. They like to fight. Uh, people don't have, uh, have very little value for life. So a lot of this stuff can be avoided by a person just making a decision not to go to places where you know that they have a pension for drama. These guys wasn't even 30 years old. Usually if you can make it to 30, uh, if you're a man, you can make it to 30, you can avoid being murdered. And I say this because oftentimes when you're younger than 30, you're hot-headed and you haven't really, you don't really have the experience of finding yourself in a lot of different types of situations where your life could have been taken. So oftentimes, you know, the older person gets, you know, the more mellow they become and the more experienced they are, they know what to look for, what to look out for. And they just tend to start avoiding certain things. You ever been around that person that you say, man, let's go, let's go over here to such, such, such. He's like, oh man, hell no, I ain't going over there, man. Well, what was up, man? Let's get, let's get, there's gonna be some girls over there. Man, I don't give a damn. I ain't going over there. And you thinking to yourself, man, this dude's slow, man. This dude old or whatever, whatever. Nah, this dude is wise. This guy actually values his life. When you really understand your environment, you value your life to the extent that you don't put yourself in compromising positions where your life can be taken away. You basically don't take your life for granted. And when you go to these places, that drama field, that's what you do. Uh, it's, it's a strip club. Strip clubs are the new late night clubs with butt naked women. It's just night. Strip clubs are not just nightclubs now, you know, hangout spot after hours. When people show up at a lot of these strip clubs and stuff, they didn't struck out at the clubs, right? So they go to strip club to extend the night. A lot of times these dudes, they drinking, they, they high, and they're mad. Mess around and see some dudes that look like they got some money and they got the girls and they got the attention. They look like something. They got a problem with that. Not saying that's what the case is, but I've seen it a lot of times. I've seen it often. It's a sad situation right here, fam. Boy, our people get knocked off left and right, man. We got to deal with the police. We got to deal with our own. We got to deal with accidents, natural causes, self-inflicted ailments. Damn, boy. One million ways to die, and we choose every last one of them. Well, I'm not going to say we, because it's not all of us. I don't, I don't want to generalize there. But some of us, most of us get it. But that some, man, oh, God. R.I.P. Derry Nellums, Marion Glasgow, and Tavion Rice. No more talk. What the talking about?